Hello everyone. This is uh, the review of the mouse and the keyboard. This is the Zeus E2 mouse. They call it a gaming mouse. I'm not gonna call it a gaming mouse. I'm gonna call it a, a, a non-intelligent mouse. The problem what I have with this mouse, yeah, it works. It you know, moves around on the screen, very, very, uh, you know, very precise. As you move it, you can just move it a little bit and it's it's making these little, these big moves there. And of course, yeah, you could change the settings online uh, on the on the desktop uh, in order to uh, adjust the sensitivity, but that's not what this video is about. This video is just a review of the actual mouse. The mouse looks nice. It's pretty. It's got pulsing lights. It changes colors. You can see it's going from orange to blue to red to purple to orange to blue to red to purple. Anyway, that's nice. My problem are these two buttons right here. If you accidentally click on one of these buttons, let me see if I can open up a window here. I will open up a window and I will, I'll go on Amazon, why not? All right, we're going on Amazon, pulling up Amazon here. So let's say I'm clicking around, I'm clicking around, I'm looking at this, hello Anthony, look at that, hello Anthony. And I'm clicking around, I'm looking at all the different things, I don't know, I'm just randomly clicking things. And now here I am on this page. Now let me see if I could show you this. If I accidentally hit this button here, the side button, look at that, I just pressed the button once, boom. I'm pressing that button, I'm pressing that side button, and that button there is just changing my, just backing me out. It's going through all of the different web pages that I just went through. Now, that's this button right here. What about this button right there? Let's try pressing that one. If I press that button, it pages me forward. So page forward, page back, and there's no way to disable that. So you could be doing something as I have been working on this uh, system now for about a week. You could be working on something and you hit the backspace and you backed out of that page. If you're lucky, the information that you had on that page has been saved in the system's cache. And when you page forward, it'll still be there. If you're not lucky, as I have been 50% of the time, you'll lose everything and you gotta start all over again. Very, very frustrating. Same thing with this page forward button. It's just not, it's not a good, it's not a good thing. Okay, you can't disable them. They can't be adjusted. There are no software programs out there that will allow you to adjust this. I've even contacted the company and the company said, no, this is a quote, dumb, end quote, mouse, meaning it is not intelligent enough to be programmable. The buttons are buttons and they're hardwired into the system. The only other option I have is gonna be to grab some needle nose pliers and rip out these two buttons and continue the mouse that way. Since the mouse is only worth about 20 bucks, I may end up doing that and I will put the video up when I do that, okay? That's number one. Number two, let's talk about the keyboard. Uh, let's keep it this way. The keyboard is the Ares M1. It's a nice keyboard except for one thing, the lights are static. They don't pulse, they don't change. They don't move. They are the same. You can't adjust them. It doesn't matter what you do. There are no adjustments for the keyboard. Okay, now that may or may not be a problem. I don't know, that's up to you. But what I'm doing is simply telling you the truth and that this keyboard cannot be adjusted at all. The keys are good. Um, you know, they're very similar to my old style keyboard. I've had this keyboard, this rocket board. I've had this for, God, 20 years, I guess. Um, keyboards are keyboards, you know? I don't, I'm not that special about keyboards. I don't go crazy over keyboard, keyboards. Um, it's definitely not, like, there's no, there's no sounding click when you click it. Like those old, old IBM keyboards, when you clicked the, the, the keyboard, any key, what it did was you'd hear an audible click. You'd hear click. So that's not the case. Uh, the keys are good. They're a little spongy, but uh, you know, I guess as far as keyboards are concerned, it's a good keyboard. I'm not gonna get rid of it. 
I like the keyboard. 